everyone, Alexa Dunn here. I'm a traditionally published author and this is AuthorTube Bootcamp, my series on how to start an AuthorTube channel or really any YouTube channel. Today's topic is filming and posting schedules, which is my advice for how to plan your filming schedule and your posting schedule to optimize what YouTube essentially rewards you for in order to grow your channel. And that is the secret that isn't a secret. YouTube rewards channels that post frequently and consistently. They also reward longer videos that drive engagement, and I have a whole video on that which I will link down below. So of course it can be daunting to post videos frequently and consistently. I'd say the bare minimum if you're starting out your channel is once a week. So you need to arrange your life and your schedule so that you're filming at least four videos a month. It's actually ultimately easier on you in the long term to do batch filming, no matter how many times a week you're posting. And my minimum recommendation is once a week, but if you watch this channel, you know I post consistently two to three times a week, and I have done that for more than a year. For me, two to three times a week is a sweet spot, and I largely chose this because that's what I like from the channels I subscribe to. We tend to subscribe to people we like and topics we find really interesting and engaging, and so if someone you like post two to three times a week. That's just like Christmas. You're getting regular installments from your favorite programming. Once a week is of course fine too, but when you go less than that, viewers are more likely to forget about you and not go look for your content because the YouTube notification system is slightly garbage. So if you post on a schedule and people know to look for it, they'll be like, oh, it's Friday. I haven't seen that video pop up on my YouTube dashboard yet. Oh, there it is. So picking a day or a frequency and sticking to it can really benefit you in terms of growing your subscriber base. So batch filming. I'm going to tell you how I do it. So I basically have found pockets of time in my life and my schedule, and it does sometimes vary in terms of any given week or month or season when there's really good lighting and I have the time and the mental headspace to sit down and film two to three videos at a time or more. Today is a six video a day because I'm really behind. So just to kind of give you an idea of how I plan it. So today is Saturday. It is about one o'clock. I started filming at about 1130 because that's really good lighting for LA. Plus it enables me to optimize my day. It's not like we want you to sit at home and film all the time and not have a life. One of the hardest things about having a YouTube channel is fitting it into your life schedule. So that's why batch filming helps, because especially if you're posting only once a week, you might only need to find one day a month to film, maybe two. For a two to three week schedule, I do have to find three to four days a month to film at least, and my sweet spot is the weekends. So I film all of these videos all at once, and then I have time throughout the week to edit when I can find pockets of time for that. But the filming tends to be the hardest part, so I find good pockets of time and I bang out more than one video at a time. It's a way for it to feel less overwhelming, to be honest, because you just kind of do it when it works and is convenient for you, and then you don't have to stress out if you get really, really busy and you can't film and you missed your posting time. Batch filming happens to work for me. This enables me to bank videos weeks in advance and also kind of plan the strategy of what videos I post when. I do try to not post videos that are too similar next to each other. That's kind of next level strategy for your channel, especially when you're just starting out. Just to like come up with compelling and engaging content and try to post it consistently. And this is why planning your videos ahead of time is so helpful, which is another video in the Author 2 Bootcamp series. I have brainstorming documents with tons of topics in them with key points outlined so that when I sit down to batch film, I can do more than one in a row and I can just kind of pivot and do the next one. And on a more practical level, yes, this does include costume changes. You don't have to change your outfit for each video, but a lot of YouTubers do that so that you don't know that we're batch filming. I do do that. It's just like a little optional pro tip. If you can't batch film, that is okay. What you can do instead is find the pockets of time in your schedule that are going to work for you. So if that's at night, 
a couple times a week, that's fine. You just might need to invest in better lighting so that you have brighter lighting at night. The few times I tried to film after work, I didn't really like the results because the lighting wasn't as good, and by that point, most of my makeup had melted off my face throughout the day, so it's totally up to you what works for you. So for me, it's batch filming on weekends, not every weekend, just the weekends that work for me. And then, yes, post consistently, at least once a week, try to do it on the same day at approximately the same time. Same thing with the two to three times a week schedule. So personally, when it's three times a week, I do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9.30 a.m. PT. I don't know if my viewers notice the specificity of the days and the times, but I like to think that that consistency is helpful. And then when I do two times a week, it's either Mondays and Thursdays, or Mondays and Fridays, or Tuesdays and Thursdays, or Tuesdays and Fridays. I mean, clearly there's variation in that. And when I go down to two times a week, it's usually because I'm more busy, and it does kind of depend on when I have time to edit videos. So even though I'm advising you to batch film and bank videos and post them consistently and as frequently as you can, I also want to tell you that it's okay to go easy on yourself if you fall behind and you can't film and you're not posting as consistently. Because life does happen, but that is indeed why I recommend batch filming because there's no greater relief than going, oh gosh, I have no time to film for the next two and a half to three weeks, but go, I have six videos filmed, I can space them out, it's fine. And every once in a while I have dropped down to once a week when I was really dire when it came to my bank of videos. So you can be a little bit flexible with yourself, but batch filming helps you out. That's it for today. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will make more videos in the Author2 Bootcamp series. Let me know down below in the comments any questions or comments that you have. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I post new videos two to three times a week. Currently two times a week because I am on deadline, but uh, the rest of the time it's three times a week. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, happy YouTubing.